In the unfolding drama of the Middle East, a new chapter starts with Hamas proposing a ceasefire to Israel. However, the proposal has put Israel's coalition government in a tricky situation. The Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, has outrightly rejected the terms of the ceasefire proposed by Hamas, insisting instead on a total victory in Gaza. The conflict between the two entities began in October and has since resulted in numerous casualties and widespread destruction, drawing international condemnation. The proposal from Hamas included three stages featuring prisoner swaps and the release of hostages. The international community, including the United States, Egypt, and Qatar, has been actively involved in efforts to negotiate a ceasefire. However, the negotiations have been anything but straightforward, complicated further by a disconnect between the political and military wings of Hamas. The demands put forth by Hamas include a relaxation of Israeli rules in Jerusalem and a complete ceasefire, coupled with an Israeli troop withdrawal from Gaza. The proposal also outlines a phased approach to ceasefire and reconstruction, which poses a significant challenge to Netanyahu's right-wing coalition in accepting the terms. In the coming days, negotiators are set to meet in Cairo to discuss the response from Hamas to the situation. This complex scenario puts the spotlight on the intricate dynamics of the Middle East conflict. With a ceasefire proposal on the table, its acceptance or rejection will shape the course of events in this volatile region. The stakes are high, and the world watches with bated breath as negotiators prepare to meet in Cairo to discuss the next steps. In conclusion, the proposed ceasefire by Hamas has put Israel's coalition government in a tricky situation. The rejection of the proposal by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the demands of Hamas have complicated the negotiation process. As the world looks on, the outcome of the Cairo talks will significantly impact the future of the Middle East conflict.